my goodness. Wow, Pisces. Okay, here's what's happening. This is the third time that I've started this video. The first read was not going well, it wasn't connecting. Um, I didn't feel that it was even worth going forward. Nothing was coming together. The numbers weren't connecting. The cards weren't connecting. I'm not going to give you a bad read. I'm just not going to do it. I take my tarot readings very seriously in the fact that I'm going to put out quality, not quantity. If it's not going well, I'll start over a hundred times if I have to. I stopped. I meditated. I, you know, thought through it very carefully, waited to connect with spirit, started again. Then I started your reading, as you can see here. I got this far in the reading and then like something happened in my brain and it just like stopped working. I forgot what cards were. I forgot what numbers were. I wasn't, I just had like this moment of like spasticness in my brain. I don't know what that was about. I have no idea. So I needed to like start this again because I, I can't edit. So if I stop recording, I can't just hit start and like it meshes together. It starts like all over again. And that's, you know, it is what it is. So these are the cards that were there. Believe it or not, trust or not. I don't know. Don't really care if you believe that. Um, but I always do my um, shuffling on camera so everyone can see. But unfortunately, you know, due to unforeseen circumstances and lack of editing knowledge, this is how it's going to be. All right. So we have rebirth, synchronicity, timeout, surrender, and nature. Your numbers. So today is February. Um, the second month, which is patience, we're the first day in the second month, so it's a new beginning. And then we have patience with spirit and patience with spirit. This is the year. Two plus zero is two, plus two is four, plus zero is four. So it's the year of four. Four is perseverance. It's the year of perseverance. So we have two plus two is four, five, six, seven. That's how you get your number. Pisces is one and two. So um, the beginning of patience, we have three. Three is um, collaboration, communication, and creativity. Neptune is your planet. Neptune, uh, Pisces, your believe. You're all about I believe. Neptune is sacrifice, okay? Neptune is two and one. So patience for the individual, okay? Creativity, collaboration, communication. On this one, Pisces, you're more on the creative side than the collaboration and communication side. So you're all about creativity. Um, and then the two, your sign and your planet together are six. And so you're a water sign. You're emotional. Waters are emotion. Your patience and perseverance. Patience, perseverance. This is your month, Pisces. This is your month. Okay, uh, is a six. Six is love. Okay, so now these are the numerology cards that we have. So we have six is love. We have eight and seven. So we have seven, which is your seven. Synchronicity, uh, manifestation with personal growth. Then we have three and seven. So you have your three and seven. Three, your um, creativity. And seven, time out. Then we have nine and one, completion. For the individual. <coughs> Excuse me. Sneezy sneeze. Um, I'm allergic to this reading. <laughs> we have nine and one, which is karma. And then we have seven, which is personal growth. There's our seven with four. There's our four. Perseverance is nature. So... <clears throat> Letting nature take its course. Whew, it's taking its course on me, that's for sure. See these knees. Then we start out here. We have um, karma. That was the first one I pulled. So we have karma, the wheel of fortune. What goes up must come down. Karma. Uh, surrendering to karma, like letting it take its course. That's nature. Uh, we have justice. So we have karma for the individual. Ten. Uh, and one, which is 11, which is individuality. Um, karma for, for the individual is justice. And then we have four. Four, there's our perseverance. Four of wands. Wands is energy, taking action. Um, so with four of wands, this is um, prosperity. 
virtue joint pro project celebration. Um, and then we have sun, Leo energy. So we have action here, taking action. Um, the sunflowers, the sunflowers and the sun. Uh, Leo is the sun. And um, there's always, with the Leo cards, there's always sunflowers. Um, we have a child, childlike. Um, Leos are very childlike in a sense. And then we have karma for the individual and karma. So the individual in the midst of karma. So 10, uh, this is 9, so 10 and 9, that's um, 19, 9 and 1 is 10, which is karma. And there's our 3, 3 and 3. So with this 3, 3 of swords, uh, truth coming out. Oops, can't see. Truth coming out. Could cause heartache. For sure. So. This could cause us to need to take a time out. We have nine. There's our nine. There's our complete. Nine of wands. Nine of wands is an ongoing battle. True resolve. Standing your ground. Um. I'm going to come back to this one. Then we have six. There's our six. Nostalgic. Love. The sharing of. It's almost like siblings. Nostalgia. You have all these cups blossoming. Love. There's our rebirth. We have eight. There is our eight. There's our manifestation. So with eight, um, if you look at this card, you can see she's bound, but she's loosely bound. So very easily she could get out from under these bonds. And though she's imprisoned with these swords, she can pass right through. So self-imprisoned. She's choosing to put herself in this position. She feels trapped, but not really trapped. So, and blinded, not wanting to see what's truly going on. And here we have two. So there's all of our twos. Two, 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 two. There's all of our twos. A coming together, a sharing Okay, we have Leo energy again here. Pisces, what's going on with you and Leo? What's happening? So we have the sharing, the coming together. We have cups, emotions. So this is an emotional bond here. You can see here we have two. We have these two people. So we have the we have the four, the four of wands here, and the um prosperity, virtue, joint venture, you know, could be a wedding, could be a coming together of a business partnership, something coming together. But then we have this one, which is nostalgic. So I don't really feel this being the whole, um, I don't know. I feel like it. Okay, I'm not really supposed to put my stuff in it, so I'm going to wait till the end to put my spin on there. You just, okay, these cards are what they are. I'm going to bring in my own opinions about this in a minute, and we'll, we'll circle back to that. I'm going to bring in my oracle. Where is my oracle? Okay. They definitely have some vibes going on here for sure. I get vibes. All right, let's bring this down so you can see. This is my soul deck. I love this deck more than any deck that I have. This is my ultimate, most favorite. 
most favorite deck of all time. This deck never lets me down. Ever, ever, ever. It knows how to talk to me. It's crazy. I love it. Okay. It's got a lot to say today. Woo. Lots to say. Mm -hmm. We good? Okay. All right. Ooh, okay. Clover, two. Two, 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 two. There's our two, Clover. So here you can see in the background we have the clock, which is very much representative of our Wheel of Fortune and Karma, letting nature take its course. So we have nature. We have a clover, which is nature. Um, and we have taking a time out. Clovers represent good luck, a gift of, of luck. Um, and we have a rebirth here. And then we have birds, 12, 1 and 2. See here, we have... Two and one, one and two, two and one. So we have all these ones and twos going on. So Pisces, 12, 12, Pisces. So this is referring to you, Pisces. This is 12. This is two and one is three is creativity. This is you, for sure. Um, <sighs> keeping a bird in its cage is not allowing a bird to be who a bird is meant to be. They're meant to be wild. They're meant to fly and have their freedom. So with Pisces, you need to be able to spread your wings. You need to be able to be creative. You need to be able to do what you need to do. You need to be able to have your beliefs. And <sighs> hello, sir. Sir, can I help you with something, sir? I'm in the middle of something. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I think you can see that. All right, we have an intruder. Next, we have whip, which is representative of our, of our desires. 11. 11 is individuality. So <clears throat> Pisces needs their individuality. You need to be your own person. It's very important. And then we have garden. We have two and zero. So again, all of our twos, it's the year 2020. So this is the year that you need to tend to your garden, Pisces. Tend to your garden. <clears throat> Take care of yourself. <clears throat> Taking that time out. Okay, Taking that time out. Surrendering. Nature. So you've got nature. You've got garden. You've got clove. You really need to tend to yourself, your surroundings, your home, your, your personality. Ten, tending to yourself. This rebirth. This beginning of love. So with this love you have to love yourself first you know and be happy within yourself for other people to be drawn to that and to treat you like that and to feel the same you know if you hate yourself and hate your life and hate your job and you're miserable you project that out everywhere and you get a lot of that back that's that karma that's the, all this karma that's going on here okay now lastly what i'm going to do I'm going to bring in my little box of charms. This has become my new favorite thing. I'm obsessed. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do. Okay, one. So we have the first. Uh, uh, no, nope, you can't see. Okay, so we have the first day. Pisces, one. That's um, the beginning of Neptune. The beginning of for the individual. So we have the beginning for the individual. So this is, it could be a rebirth, a new start for you. Okay. All right. D. What does that represent to you, Pisces? Anything? Is it a name? Is it a place? What does that mean to you? Something? Anything? Okay. Let's see what number we come up with. Oh, okay. Can you see? I don't want to move that till you can see it. I'll just grab it and show you. Okay, see so it's a four. There's our perseverance. Four. So going back over here again to the 2020 perseverance four. Over here we have nature, which is your seven, 
which is your personal growth, and then you have four. So there's your four. Okay, now I'm going to put this back on camera. You can see here in this box, I'm going to move over some of these larger, chunkier pieces. You can tell there's just a million little things in here, right? Okay. Let's shake this up. Okay, I'm just going to reach in here. I'm going to grab a few things. Whoopsie. Okay, throw that out there. <clears throat> now we're going to come over here and see what we have. See how it corresponds. Believe. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at. I just got done telling you Pisces. What's the definition of Pisces? I believe. If you don't believe me, wait. Hold on. I'm even going to prove it. Let me show you in my little book of books. <laughs> okay. Oh, how do I? Okay. Pisces. What does it say? Can we read? Pisces. I believe. Do you think I just did that in two seconds? I just grabbed a book and like, no, that's, that's, and I said it earlier, Pisces, I believe. That is you. Believe. <laughs> I love this. This is amazing. I love it. Next, we have enough. Enough. Time out. Enough. That's enough. It's time for a time out. Protected. Protected. When I was talking about, uh, where is it? Da, 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 protected. Where is it? Oh, here we go. The justice. I accidentally um, almost said that this was the queen of swords the and the queen is like a protector you know the the guardian that not the guardian that's the male is the female energy is the protector the nurturer you know a mother protects but it's not the queen of swords it's actually justice so justice is protection protector justice you know protects us so we have mama swan and baby swan so, looking after our young. That comes over here. Where are we? Believe. Where is it? Over here. Okay. This card here, when I said it's nostalgia, um... We have all these cups overflowing with love. The love card. And this is not romantic. This is like sibling or family love. And then we have this very elaborate skeleton key. And then if you look there, you have a heart and then a heart. So we do have love. So there's the beginning of love, opening up to love. And then we have another key here with heart. So love, so there's two keys, two, patience, patience and love. Next we have the turtle. This is crazy. Every single time I get the time out card, I get the turtle. Because this is what this means to be taking it slow. Taking a time out, resting, you know, letting going at a pace, a slow pace. Um, I got this, I think, with cancer. I think cancer had this same thing, time out. <clears throat> Next, we have this little cat, our little familiar, our little small kitty cat. So a cat does whatever it wants, whatever it desires. Anyone who has a cat knows that's true. Mine just came into play a minute ago and did whatever the hell he wants to do. So desire, whatever you want, the cat. Next, I have a wheel. There we have the wheel. Taking control, taking the wheel. Here we have the wheel of fortune. 
And then finally, we have the crescent moon. The moon. The moon is all about change. The moon is all about change. With the moon can come, it also can represent anxiety. It could represent like the ebb and flow, the ups and the downs, you know, um, emotionally, kind of ups and downs. It's got all the bling on it, shiny. It, it draws us in. Um, it shines brightly. Um, so with this crescent moon, I feel like I'm trying to think of where this specifically fits in. I kind of feel like it's somewhere between these two here. So, believe, Pisces, there you go. This read was for you. Hope it resonated. Hope you liked the video. Um, if you do, please like, click, subscribe. Um, if you subscribe to the channel and you want a free reading, let me know. And I will, um, we can do a uh, message, like through Messenger, we could do a video chat where you can watch me do your read just like this. Where it's specifically for you, directed for you specifically. We'll coordinate a time and a day when I'm available and you're available, and I'll do that for you for free. Um, the reason I do it for free is because if you get a free reading and you love it, you're going to tell all your family and friends, and they're going to want a reading, and they're going to tell their family and friends, and so on and so forth, and then eventually I'll have enough subscribers that YouTube will pay me to do my channel and I'll never have to charge anyone for reading ever which how great is that to be able to use a gift that you have to help people and not have to charge them for it that's my goal that's what I'm working towards because everyone has to work and make a living I did animal rescue emergency medical animal rescue the worst of the worst cases you've ever seen I did that for all of my life. My husband tragically um, and horrifically passed September 2001. And um, I decided after he passed that I was going to use the money that I received from his death to make the world a better place. And so I was the best parent to my daughter I could be. I was a stay-at-home mom. I was blessed to do that. And I spent all of my extra excess time saving animals' lives. So I did emergency animal medical rescue until uh, my daughter needed me to fully focus on her uh, when she went through some trials and tribulations in life. And then uh, we moved to an island to get her away from some very bad things. And um, now she's doing great. She's in her place. I am now an empty nester and a widow, so I'm using my time to try to do even more good in the world by helping people in a new way. Um, because of my medical condition, I can't really move or walk, um, so this I can do from a seated position, and uh, it doesn't take much physical energy at all to do it. Well, it takes none, actually. So um, if I can make a living at it and have a way to keep a roof over my head, then God bless, you know? That's what I can say on that point. So if um, there's anything about this read you're not happy with or you disagree with, comment too. I can't learn and become better if people aren't honest with me. Um, be nice though, be nice, because you don't. no one has to be cruel or mean. You can always tell people things in a nice way and, um, you know, if I've made mistakes, I'm okay with that. You could tell me I made a mistake. Um, and then I'll go, oh, I can't make that mistake again, and I'll get better. So um, I'm okay with um, critiques. I'm not so great with angry, mean criticism, but I'm good with, with honest critiques. So feel free to let me know. 
and um, I hope I talk to you soon for your reading because I love doing them honestly and I learned so much and it's helping me grow as a human being um, it's, learning me, uh, it's teaching me patience and um, to see things from a broader perspective tarot is very healing tarot is very close to God it's very close to um, spirituality it's not dark it's not you know everything is what you make of it you can use a car for evil or you can use a car for good same thing with a knife or a gun or whatever any tool that you have in your hand it, it, it depends on the intention in the person that's holding it so if you have a loving heart a kind soul you'll only do good things so don't be afraid of tarot don't be afraid of, it's not evil it's not you know all of these crazy things um, it's more re religious based than you could ever imagine, just not man-made based. It's not about power and control and money. It's more about the spirituality of it all. So, or at least that's my opinion. I hope you guys have a really good Saturday and a fun Super Bowl Sunday. Don't drink and drive.